Reporting for jury service can be inconvenient and stressful when you don't know what to do. Here's what to expect on your first day of service. It's very important to arrive on time and dressed appropriately for jury service. You don't have to buy new clothes, but you should wear comfortable clothes that show respect for the court, judges, participants, and everyone involved in the proceedings. Bring your juror summons with you to the courthouse. You may be given parking decals or directions where to park. When you arrive at the courthouse, you will be asked to go through security. Once inside the building, proceed to the location printed on the top of your juror summons and check in with court staff. By law, employers must release someone who has been summoned to jury service from his or her regular work schedule. If you need proof of service for your employer, you should notify the clerk at this time. There will be times throughout this process where you will be asked to wait. The judges and court staff do not want to waste your time, but sometimes delays are unavoidable, such as when parties engage in last-minute negotiations to resolve the case. This is a normal part of the process. You may want to bring a book or something to keep you busy while you wait. There are two types of juries you could be selected for, a grand jury and a pettit or trial jury. If you are selected for a grand jury, you will hear evidence to determine whether to indict and bring formal criminal charges against an individual. A grand jury does not determine guilt or innocence. If you're selected for a pettit or trial jury, you will hear a civil or criminal case. If the case is at the district court level, a jury consists of six jurors. If the case is at the circuit court level, a jury consists of 12 jurors. Not everyone reporting for service will be selected to hear a case. Reporting for service makes it possible for the court to select a jury from a representative sample of the community. It makes possible the right to a trial by jury. As part of the jury selection process, the judge and attorneys involved will ask questions to determine if you will be able to come to a decision without bias on the case. This process is called voir dire. Voir dire is not meant to pry into your personal background or embarrass you, but you must answer the questions completely and truthfully so the judge and attorneys can decide if your experiences, knowledge, and background make you a fair and impartial juror in the case. If you believe you're unable to serve on a jury for any reason, you need to notify the court prior to the end of jury selection. A juror may be removed for cause if it's determined for any reason that a juror cannot be fair or impartial. Each side in the case also has a certain number of peremptory challenges, or strikes, that allow a juror to be removed without giving a reason. Do not be offended if you are removed. If you are removed from one trial, you may still be selected to serve on another case. Follow all instructions of the court staff. It's important that you do not leave the courthouse until you have been directed to do so by the court staff. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more about jury service, be sure to watch the other videos in the Juror Awareness series and explore our online resources at www.courts.ky.gov.